This is Gary with Jolly Dolly, and I'm going to show you what to do if you're having an issue charging your winch on your Power Plus uh, Dolly with winch. First thing you want to do is turn your winch system on, and you want to see what your voltage is. Um, here we have 13 volts, that's 100%. Um, it's best to have some battery power in order to do these checks that I'm about to show you. If, you, if this doesn't come on at all, or if this has less than 10 volts, uh, right there, you're gonna have issues even figuring out what the problem is with the with the charging system But you can still try to follow some of the steps Okay, so This is your winch charge port the winch has its own separate 12 volt battery That's charged through this charge port using this charger You'll notice this charger has a series of three lights and these lights are very important when you're trying to figure out what's going on with the status of charging your battery. Um, when you plug this up to AC, within about two or three seconds, this green power light should come on. If that light doesn't come on, then the charger's not working. You either need to check your AC connection or get a new charger. Um, now once you plug this up to the dolly, then you should get a red charging light that should come on steady. If that light doesn't come on, the battery's not charging, and no amount of time on this charger is gonna make a difference. So at that point, if that doesn't come on, or if it twinkles instead of staying on steady, it's time to troubleshoot and figure out why the charger is not charging the battery. If it does come on, then you wanna give it time to charge, whether it be a, a few hours to as long as 24 hours if it's deeply discharged. You want to come back and look for the charge complete light to come on that green light that just came on that should come on the charging light goes off that indicates the battery has a full charge if that doesn't happen the battery didn't charge and it's time to troubleshoot if you are getting the charging light but you never get this light the battery's probably no good and, and won't hold the charge so let me show you what to do if you're not getting that red charging light to come on. This is where a multimeter is going to come in handy. If you have a multimeter, set it to DC voltage and we're going to test to see if we have any voltage right here. This connects directly through the battery to the battery through a fuse. So we can actually test for voltage here and that will tell us if we have a good connection to the battery. Here I'm getting 13 volts. So this tells me the fuse is good, the connection to the battery is good, and if I plug a charger here, it should work. Now, if we weren't getting voltage there, the next step would be open this up and take a look inside. You can see this charge port runs to a connection right here. This connection is designed to break away when you open this cover and take it off. So if that's happened or if this has come loose, that's not gonna allow you to charge the battery. So you're gonna wanna fix that if that's the case and retest your voltage. If that's not the problem, while you have this open, you can take your multimeter and you can check your voltage right here. Again, you press really hard, make sure to get a good metal on metal connection. And you can see I'm getting 13 volts here. So that tells me I've still got a good connection. If you're not getting voltage here, but you are getting voltage here, then there's something wrong with this wire. Um, now, if this is not your problem, the next thing to check is the fuse. There's a fuse inside this little cover right here. The fuse may be closer that way or closer this way. It's a seven and a half amp fuse. You want to check it to see if it's blown. And then you want to put it back in and make sure it's fully seated and then close it. Okay, and then you retest your voltage here or here and see if that's fixed your problem. You also want to test your battery voltage directly to the battery terminals. Um, here you can see we're getting the same 13 volts. This is important because you want to compare the voltage you're getting at the battery to the voltage you're getting here and at the other connection because it should all be the same.
If you're getting less than 10 volts at the battery itself, there's a good chance you're going to need to replace the battery because that indicates a deeply discharged battery uh, that may not work well even if you do get it to charge. If you need to replace this wire, you'll need to cut these zip ties, remove the, the wire clamps, and put a new wire in here. If you need to replace the battery, you'll need to cut any zip ties in this area, pull these wires off. You have to take these two bolts out. You may be able to just take this one out and slide this uh, battery tie-down bar off, and then remove the battery. You can partially remove it take the screws out right here take your wires off then put your new battery slide it halfway in put your screws back through it's best to take a picture of this first so you make sure but you only have two wires going to positive and negative you have your big gauge wires the red and black and then you have your smaller charger wires and that's it and once you get all that hooked back up slide the battery back in put your battery tie down back in place and tighten these bolts. Make sure you tighten them evenly. You don't want to squeeze the battery on one side and then have it loose on the other. You want to do a few turns at a time on each bolt, making sure it goes down evenly and holds the battery uh, flat. And that's pretty much it. 